At the start of the movie younger Danny Rand is shown traveling with his mother to the Himalayas. They were on the plane when it suddenly crashed due to a mechanical failure. Everyone died in this accident except Danny. He escaped and was saved by two masters who took him to a secret city whose door open every 15 years. After 15 years, he returns to his hometown and joins his company, Rand Company. Everyone thought Danny was dead, so no one recognized him. He wasn't wearing nice clothes and there were no shoes on his feet. He was thrown out from there because of it and the guards try to stop him when he again tries to move inside. He uses his kung fu trick that he learned in the last 15 years. He defeated those guards and moves inside the company. He meets his stepbrother and sister there and becomes happy, attempting to make them understand. I escaped in the incident of the plane crash but they don't believe him. They throw him out while calling the guards and Danny lives in the park with the homeless people he was worried but even then he doesn't become sad and listens to songs on his mobile. The next day, he was practicing his kung fu and a girl considers him a beggar and gives him money but Danny likes her when he sees her that's why he wants to talk to her. The Chinese girl was named Colleen and she was pasting the postures of martial arts class everywhere. He talks to her and says I am skilled in martial arts and kung fu so appoint me I will teach and train everyone very well. With it, your business will be doubled but she refuses while saying this is my business not yours so don't think about it. After it, his stepfather goes to a secret place where his father was and this was a strange thing because his father died because of cancer a few years ago and the truth is he survived because of some reason. He was working for his company secretly and his son doesn't like this. Here, he tells his father about his stepbrother Danny. Later, Danny goes to meet his stepsister but she mixes something in his tea and he gets faint because of it. In the next scene he awakes in a hospital where the doctor asks him about Himalayas. Where he was moving with his mother and he tells V about the secret city and kung fu. The doctor considers him insane after hearing this and Danny was allowed to make a call now because he only has the Chinese girl's number so he calls her and asks for help. She clearly refuses to help him and then Danny's stepbrother moves to Colleen and asks her to sign a paper. It was written that Danny warned me to end me and in return, I'll give you a huge amount for a martial arts school. She refuses for this and she suspects this situation so she goes to meet Danny. Danny's stepsister also suspects that he is the real Danny so she sends him a lot of bunties that we eat in childhood. Danny separates brown bunties from them and it was his childhood habit and his sister confirms he is real Danny Rand. The doctors also feel he is Danny Rand but he was still talking about the monsters and secret city so the doctors don't let him leave because they suspect him. Danny's stepfather was also watching all this through cameras he feels Danny a danger to his company so he sends his goons to kidnap him but he fights with them. He beats them with his kung fu style and defeats them, then he breaks the hospital door while punching with his iron fist style. He runs from there and moves to Colleen's school and defeats her in karate easily this makes Colleen happy and she allows him to live here while giving him a few clothes. After it, he goes to meet his stepsister she gives him a 100 million offer and asks him to live with change name so that he will not be a danger to company. Danny doesn't like this and meets a lawyer because she worked in Rand Company so Danny knows her and she asks him questions that only Danny knows. She confirms that he is the real Danny when he gives the right answers and now this lawyer will help Danny so that Danny will get the company back and she will bring this in front that he is the real Danny Rand. His stepbrother sets all the clues on fire through his goons that would prove him the real Danny but Danny gets help from his stepsister because she has made a thing for him that has Danny's fingerprints which match with Danny. Finally, it proves that he is the real Danny and after it, he got half part of the company and he becomes Rand's owner. He was given a great house and office as well. Rand was a huge company as it does business on a huge level and makes medicines. They earn a lot of money with this business but Danny doesn't like this. And seeing this situation he lessens the medicine prices that nobody likes. 
His stepbrother goes to meet his father and Danny chases him but there was security everywhere so he moves through the window. His brother misunderstood him so he pushes him and Danny falls down but when he awakes his stepbrother hugs him. Then he takes him to the secret place where their father was and Danny asks how did you revive? He says hand revived me he is a leader of many dangerous ninjas. He treated my cancer and took my sincerity in return while blackmailing me. There is a Chinese lady with him named Madame Gao and he requests him to fight with the hand and save everyone. Save your company as well. The next day he was with his sister but doesn't tell her anything about their father. A few goons attack them when they were leaving and try to kidnap his sister but Danny competes with the bravely. They were fighting with him with a weapon like an axe but even then they can't resist in front of Danny he ends them one by one and save his sister to be kidnapped and they go to Colleen to discover the Madame Gao. As she was Chinese so maybe Colleen knows her and this becomes true and Colleen tells them about a Chinese hotel and Danny goes to talk to the owner and he tells we cracked a deal with the Rand company. But your sister broke the deal and deal with someone else means she deceived us. They become silent when Danny tells them about the hand and they leave later. They send a parcel to Danny in which there was a drug made by hand and a logo along with it. It was a logo of Iron Fist's dragon and the same logo was on Danny's chest. The difference was it was without wings. After it, Madame Gal who has become advanced in this drug business along with hand now none will have to use powder or injection to take drugs. Just paste a sticker to take drugs. After it, Danny goes to his brother and tells him this but his brother says let me handle the company and you solve this hand, ninja and drugs problem. Danny goes to meet Colleen and there he meets a girl who was a nurse she comes to take karate training from Colleen and Danny invites them at dinner and offers them to join him. They agree and they move in search of the drug together and they search for it everywhere but couldn't find it but Danny finds a chemist at a secret place. He is the one who made drug stickers and Danny fights with his guards and during this mistakenly the knife stabs the chemist after it. They bring that chemist to Colleen's school. There was the nurse with them so she tries to save him while bandaging him. The chemist tells I made those drug stickers because Madame Gal has my daughter whom she has made a hostage. Danny goes to meet Madame Gal and they promise while putting hands in water that we will fight and the one who will be defeated will accept his defeat and will leave the city in the kung fu world. It is the firm promise while putting hands in water that none can break. In the first match of the fight two ninjas come to fight with Danny. He fights with them speedily and defeats them using his kung fu style. The second match is with a girl who tries to end him while trapping him and giving him poison. Danny understands her trick so he defeats her while kicking her. The third match is with a rodman and he was brave. As he attacks him with a rod Danny punches him in iron fist style and breaks his rod. There was a yellow light in his hand that is the identity of his iron fist as he was about to defeat him. Madame Ga brings the hostage girl in front. She says if you will not accept your defeat and will defeat my companion I will end this girl and Danny has to accept his defeat because of the girl unwillingly which means Gal has broken her promise. The firm promise is just nonsense and Danny goes to attack Ga being furious but Ga wasn't an ordinary lady she has powers and using them she throws Danny far. Two strangers come to Danny's father and tries to cut his finger because he wants to punish him for telling Danny about hand but his father go back on his words. He says I don't even know a human name Danny and you were calling him my son meanwhile. Danny arrives and seeing him his father immediately attacks those goons. Danny also fights and ends them and assigns his brother the task to settle their dead bodies. The next day, Danny has to give an important letter to his seniors but instead of this he gives them lecture. He tells them about the masters in a secret place but being furious the seniors terminate those siblings from company. Danny's sister feels bad because she wants to fight for the company even her brother was planning a vacation but when he checks his bank account it was zero because his father has taken all his money so that he wouldn't run. He become furious at it and attacks his father with a knife and throws him in the sewer where he threw dead bodies. 
Danny suspects his father so he investigates about him and he discovers his father has a company in China run by hand. They reach China Thora Plabe and arrive that company and Madame Gao was also there and Colleen was doing sword fighting with a lady. Colleen was defeating her again and again, Danny also fights with a man and beats him a lot, later, he ends them while stabbing their swords in them. Seeing the dead bodies Danny understands Gao was responsible for her mother's death, she gave drugs to the pilot due to which he couldn't handle the plane and it crashed. Comma, Danny becomes furious knowing this and punches the door hard in his iron fist style and goes to Madame Gao. He makes her hostage. After three days there was a movement in sewer and Danny siblings and father come out from it. It was strange like since Hand has treated him he has become immortal because he wasn't dying. As he comes out and moves to his son means Danny's stepbrother and says I have forgiven you so solve the matter while forgiving me but he doesn't agree. His father puts drugs in his car to teach him a lesson due to which the police arrest him. He used to take drugs and it proves from the medical report that these are his drugs. He tries to make the police understand that this is his father's trick. He is trapping him but none believes him. As his father died because of cancer many years ago when he was in jail so his father used his daughter for his task. He tells her his secret and hearing this she gets surprised but happy because she feels she has got her father but he was using her for his purpose. Danny has imprisoned Madame Gao in Colleen's school. Colleen's condition gets worse as she was shot a poison bullet and it was the same potion used by Gao. Colleen was about to die but a doctor comes to treat her and saves her. He was actually a college professor. He has taught Colleen Kung Fu. Here they start doing Kung Fu and he asks Danny to be a professor in his college. Danny discovers from Gao that the doctor also works for Hand and Danny feels strange to hear this. He goes to check their system and find many computers there and he doesn't understand why are they here. But he starts breaking them while thinking if they belong to hand they must be evil. Meanwhile, the doctor arrives and says what have you done? They were my favorite movies in them and after it, a fight starts between them and during this a boy arrives who was Danny's companion and he starts fighting for Danny and he was with Danny at that secret place, they and many companions of Doctor. All the doors were closed when they try to move from there and they were trapped here. The doctor sends his skilled persons on Kung Fu to fight with Danny and Danny also tries to turn his iron fist on but this time, he didn't get the iron fist style and he doesn't need it right now because he was brave. Those ordinary Kung Fu persons can't defeat him and Colleen helps Danny and opens all the doors. Danny's companion asks him to come back to the secret city where the masters live who saved your life in childhood. This is Iron Fist tasked to protect that place. On another side, Danny's father discovers and is using their back account. He decides to empty all the accounts so that he can destroy Hand. The doctor holds Colleen and when he discovers that she supported Danny to end Hand, he asks his companions to end her brutally. She somehow releases herself runs from there and when she was fighting with the goons outside Danny arrives and handles Colleen. The doctor goes to meet Danny's stepbrother in jail and offers him that if your father will be ended I will make you company chief because I am handling the company. He agrees and they add it the secret place where their father lives and Danny's stepbrother says end my father but don't do say anything to my sister and the doctor points at his sister and says while shooting this sister. Obviously she dies with it and then he video calls Danny and shows him the situation. Like how evil his step family is in seeing it, Danny gives himself to him that how mad I was, I was trying to save all evil people like my father, sister and brother. I was supporting them and the doctor don't want to end Danny just want to take his powers. That's why he was taking him with him but here Danny's companion arrives and save him. He fights with all the goons and there was a fight between Colleen and the doctor, she wins even she was his student. She defeats the doctor but couldn't end the doctor because he has powers like superheroes. Meanwhile, Danny's companion arrives and stabs knife in the doctor's chest and says you are his student that's why not ending him but I have no relation with him. Danny's companion asks him to go with him. 
he refuses to go that's why there was a fight between them. Later, it was decided among them to live in this city but as they move back they don't find the doctor's dead body there, it disappeared. Danny and Colleen were together in the next scene and he receives his stepbrother's text it says leave immediately but before he could understand the commandos attack them. They escape while using their kung fu skill and beat them a lot here, it discovered that Tan was none other than the doctor, and now because he died so there was none to handle the company. Then surprisingly Danny's father arrives, yes, he wasn't dead but revived again like always. He was behind all the wrong tasks and he was supporting hand. Knowing the truth Danny goes to fight with his stepfather who was the real villain he wasn't less than anyone and has done all preparations to remove Danny from the path but instead of this, Danny moves inside in his iron fist get up while breaking the office window. On another side, Colleen moves to end Danny's stepbrother but he escapes because he turned behind at the right time. Danny punches his iron fist punch on the earth with his full power with which everyone along with the broken glass pieces start flying. Danny's brother also gets evidence against his father and when their stepfather tries to escape Danny chases him, they fight through pipes and Danny stabs him a pipe. He doesn't die because he has powers like superheroes, after it. Danny was leaving but their father is a violin so he shoots Danny from behind but he stops the bullet with his iron fist hand. During this, his brother arrives and shoots his father due to it, he falls down and people set him on fire so he wouldn't revive again. Everything become fine after it, Danny's stepbrother gets the company back and he got rid of his cruel and deceiver father Danny's stepsister is shown who remained alive after that bullet and now she was with Danny's companion. Gal was also sitting near them and listening to them. Danny is seen moving to the master's secret location with Colleen to ensure everything is okay. There, he finds many dead bodies of his masters and feels bad to see this. Here, season 1 ends.